Yeah. Hello, everybody. Uh, yeah, so we're kind of back already again this week with a second game. This is week eight. Yes, this is week number eight. We're against Marietta College. I'm your host, Chandler Hutton, joined by, as always, this is Austin Armstrong. All right, we hope we have a great game today. We're going to have two colleges going against each other yet again. Obviously, this league that we compete in, uh, last week we saw... Well, this few days ago, we saw a very tough loss coming out from Trine University. They tried their very best up against Bethel College. And we're going to see if they can bounce back. And they've got their typical lineup again this week. So they're going to try to get back into their groove and try to find their footing again. Yeah, and so far, I believe the score does stand, f uh, what, at this point, five wins, two losses? Yes, it's five to two. But they're looking to get another six win here. So... As always, they're going to rock it. They're going to do great. And we'll have to see. It's interesting to see what, um, who picks what map first to see if Marriott's going to play to their strength or try to challenge China on one of their own maps. Yeah. So, it does look like we're going to be starting host picks, so we might see Lijian, but um, if you're trying, you, have to, you definitely want to go towards that Lijian tower and definitely work towards the rush style things. Yeah, that's definitely yeah. one of those stronger maps. Mm -hmm. But we could also see Oasis, we could see Busan, we could see Nepal, Ilios. No, Il 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 Ilios is strong. I'm trying to think so far, of all these maps, which ones try and pick? Trying definitely pick Busan, they picked Li Zhang. Have they picked Nepal or Ilios before? I believe we've seen Nepal once come out from them. But we, I don't think we've yet to see Ilios really. That's one that we don't really know much about them, but we, I believe we've seen Nepal come out from them once. And if I remember correctly, it didn't work out very well for them. So we're going to see where they go off Yeah, from that next. was against uh, ONU's team, where they got the five-man junk tire on them. Mm -hmm. So it's only a matter of time until we see these two teams clash to find out what map we're going to be going to first. It'll be uh, pretty interesting to see. And it does look like uh, Soren is back now. Uh, he was currently unavailable for the last game, so we had one yep. of the JV members uh, sub in for him. Yep. Mm, he's just going to be showing us stuff again. He's going to be doing great things. He's going to be doing his very best, as always. matter of time. Uh, kind of interesting to see what kind of lineup they bring together. We have Dark Cry 17, we have Kinku Dinku, we have Gear Wolf, yeah. we have X uh yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Um Ex Extra Explorer. Extra Ex Explorer, yes. Yeah, I guess so. And then we have as a daily. And then we have <laughs> Granite Sunday. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not how that one's pronounced. No, it looks like granite. <laughs> like that, like, yeah. I think yeah, it's supposed to be Granny uh, Sundere. Maybe. Oh, wait. Sunaid. Yeah. yeah, I think that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. And then we see our typical victims here today. The typical... Wow, that's uh, that's comforting for t typical victims. Hi, right, Lee Zhang. Never would uh little suspects I should say. And never would guess this one. Uh so it's uh Lijong Night Market, so Symmetra. Symmetra is a staple for this type of map. Yep, you're gonna be seeing the Symmetra, maybe the Reaper, maybe the May. Uh we know that Ninja D has been grinding that May in his free time, so we're gonna see if he can actually come out with that see the Symmetra May composition. Do you see Symmetra May a lot though? Yeah, ever <laughs> since you saw the Dallas Fuel coming out from the May melee in the Overwatch League, you just saw Symmetra May be utilized a lot more. Um, All right, let's see what we got here. Um, Alright, it's going to be the Symmetra coming out from Ninja D and the Sego the on from Sego. Yep. Diva Rhine. Okay, that's an interesting matchup. 
obviously you have two classic archetypes of the rush composition you always see either the Ryan Zarya or the Ryan Diva come out for rush oh let's you occasionally do see Ryan Sigma if you want to go for a more slow composition <coughs> Ah, there we go. That was... So let's see if they're going to take the teleporter to the very high ground. Yep, there we go. And they made it first. Yep, well, they don't have as much on their side. You're going to be seeing the Soldier 76 and Echo from let's Mary. See. Let's see what Kinky is going to be able to do here. A lot of pressure coming out on the front line here. They yeah. get the Demon for the Diva. Immortality Field already coming out. They're going to yeah. like, close down on this right. They get that pick. It's just a clean fight from here. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, take and this is your boyfriend taking out Soren. Uh, sorry, taking out the Deputy. Yeah, he's they're just barreling it down mid. They had a really good clean fight. They're gonna capture a point, and really start building the percent right now. Yep. We already see these shatter coming out. We're gonna be halfway to both support ultimates. Really good building. Wow, that's a very early shatter coming. For once, your boyfriend actually taking the lead on ult instead of Soren. Yep. <laughs> but Soren building up quickly. He's getting that damage. He's getting healing in. That's We're gonna see how these things want to rotate. They're trying to go to find the angle for. Uh, extra for explorer to really get looks a like, good angle. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to go up and top. And try to get the yep. jump on him. Ooh, that was a big hit on King. Yeah. Yeah. Two big enough to try and do. They're trying to even it out, but that's your girlfriend with two. Yeah, that's. Yeah, it looks looks like uh, Vulcan's going in, trying to clean up the supports yep. that got left I, behind. When, when you got decent energy, you do something you gotta respect when you're on that Zarya. Coming up to the grab now. They didn't spend any ult there, they only spent the window, actually. So that's it's not a very cheap fight for them. And now they're coming up not only on grab but also on beat. So this is going to be uh, huge for them. They're trying to get, oh, they're trying to get another really good flank. And plus, I die coming in with the beat as well. Oh, so they're gonna might have this as an answer. Shatter gets blocked. Yeah. But that's Stego with two. Stag yeah, Vulcan's going and cleaning up the back line. Playing yep. that high energy sorry. But they're not gonna be able to. They get the, your girlfriend getting pick on the Kinko Dinku. Yeah, and that's gonna that's gonna be it for that fight there. It looks like Stego cleaned up the last couple kills. This guy is really coming in. He's warmed up today. He doesn't yeah, definitely. Need Let's see. Seeing some really good pot shots right down that little alleyway right there. You just see he's torn. Busted in the damage, just not letting yep, up. Yeah, and here, come, here comes a wall, about maybe five seconds. Yep, yeah, about five we seconds. Come, come low. We could lose some people here. Oh, that's bad. Self-destructing gets Ooh. nothing. That bomb could have been a game changer right there. It's yes. But oh, they got really, point! They get the main With a the visor, point. they have to respect that visor right there. So they got the pin, the big pin coming out from your boy. Boy, you, wow, that was extremely gutsy of your boyfriend to go charging in there like that. You know, much of an option, you gotta insta kill that. Good stuff coming up from Train Uber on this yeah. first round of uh, Legion. Yeah, Mar Mar Marinette's showing that they understand that they can, if they take this, the odd angles and try to drop down on Trine and try to get that early pick, they understand what they're trying to do here. Trine's just one second ahead of them. They're reading the rotations, they're reading what they're wanting to do. They understand their own win conditions. They're having a much better read on their own win conditions here today. And here... Oh, this is interesting. We yeah, have Junkrat on Stego, not on Ninja. Yep, usually you'd see the hit skin coming out onto Stego, but today you see Ninja really feeling his stuff on the Symmetra. And he's making stuff work. He's doing a lot of work. Folks. Yeah, Ninja has greatly improved on the Symmetra. Like, they're actually a, a force to be actually afraid of right now. All right, we see the Soldier Echo coming out again from Marietta. But we see the Hog. We Hog and Hog, Ryan. Hog and Ryan. They want to get a hook, land it on shields when they go down. Well, obviously, a good time is when they have Ryan. Oh, that's an Ryan. early pick. Oh. That's Ooh. two. Echo with three on this fight. Like, you just. That was, out. yeah. Flying characters on this map on, on uh, Lee Jong is just a bad, yeah. bad choice. You have no more Less mobility. Pick. Last time you saw flying work on Legion Control Center was 2016, but it's not that time anymore. Yeah, and especially with Junkrat, he can just snipe you out there with the mines. You see Explorer switching over to the Junkrat himself, understanding that it's just the meta for this map. It looks like Trent's gonna try to hold him here at this at this point. Yeah, you don't give him much options. Junkrat's doing pretty good trying to hold. Ooh. Nope, they yeah. Just, they defend him. When you have the Zarya, you save that bubble and protect your Ryan. They can't really do much about it. Yeah. 
seems like Marinette is just not able to get any efficient ult charge off right now. When you get all this healing, all this shielding, it's good stuff. I'm trying to just really blocking this damage and they really clean up the rotation. Oh, that's double fire strike kill through the window. That's awesome. Really good stuff coming up from your boyfriend, just showing his stuff on his rank. Yeah. This is his I, hero. He is comfortable. I think one of the two worst things to see in front of the wall is a Reinhardt and a Junkrat. Because <laughs> you're about to have a very bad day. Alright, we see Darkrai moving over to the Diva. More traditional tank like coming out. That would be better to deal with this Junkrat with that heavy spam. Yeah, you gotta be able to eat up that damage. They're Are gonna they? go to the, to the left again, so they're gonna. Yeah, let's. Let's hop on with Pinku. Big block, but Symmetra burned his shield down. Yeah, Ninja with one. That was a... Ninja just high charge. He, just... he got a big... I mean, Kinku got a big uh, fire strike off there. Wasn't yeah. able to do anything. And Sega with a double Junkrat tire right there. That's... Yeah, this is a uh, but you see, you have Ninja building up that old charge off the right shield. Once you get high charge on Symmetra, you're just melting. Yeah, like... Probably one of the most terrifying DPSs for Ryan to face is a Symmetra, because she will just destroy that shield by herself. Yep. And then once it's gone, you're not gonna last. Yeah. Now here we go. Let me just just burning it down. This could be turnable for Marietta. That big shatter coming in. Yeah. Nope, but they Wasn't don't just time. Wow. Just trying to just hold them at that very first choke and not letting them be, take any space. Yeah, that's the importance of holding up there. I mean... Yeah, the double fire strike. Oh yeah, the double fire strike kill. Yeah. Wow, Maybe got... She got the soldier and the Baptiste. Yep, yeah, big stuff coming Gain, up Getting that Baptiste right there was actually probably huge for trying to be able to win that fight cleanly. No motility fields. No, no, uh, no saves. King. All right. Yep. Wow, that was teams, that was fast. Yeah, this is Marietta's map pick, so they're wanting to keep running the rush, but at the same time, <coughs> trying to rush is just that much deadlier. When and on map, they can make it work. Of all the maps I could have picked, I think King's Row was probably a mistake because again, this is this is Trine's map. Yeah. They've shown time and time again, you face them on this map, they are going to make you hurt. Yeah, the only time that we've seen them really crumble in Kane's Row was against Bethel, but that was just a completely different tier of play from Bethel. But here, when you have Trine on their comfort maps, they're just on another tier themselves. Yeah, like we saw Li, Li Zhang, they held them at the spawn. They're probably going to hold King's Row at that very first uh, choke in front of that statue. Yeah, That's a pretty right. classic place. Both the teams heading in. We're gonna see Trine on the defense first, and then gonna have Marietta coming in on the attack. Man, this is that was probably one of the fastest second map pips we've we've seen. Yep, they must have come in ready. Let's see what we got for the pick. Um, yep, there's the May. Like, that's... Both sides going with May. Both sides going with that. Wow. Both sides just understanding that the May walls just really clog up these chokes really well. Being able to isolate targets is yeah. a And especially, like, against the Reinhardt, that, that May is just even that more effective. That Ryan cannot do anything. Yep, you always gotta have line, Reinhardt's leading your charge. And being able to isolate them, cut them off on the rest of your team, all their healing. It's just absolutely game changing. It's something you have to have run. It's something you have to acknowledge. And it's a meta that's. I was gonna say, it's interesting to see Stego now on McCree because he plays a lot of Soldier. Yeah. You're gonna be seeing a little bit of. I see the Silly Fire Strike. Conflict, yeah, conflict between the two cops here. That's that's a big. That was unfortunately a big miss from uh, your boyfriend there. And sometimes it's just kind of a little off, or they have the different. Oh, yeah, Brian got. Yeah. Immortality filled out of the uh, Baptiste though. Yep, they, they get their one pick and they're pushing in their pedal to the metal. They want to get as many picks and make them wait as long as possible. 
They just, they just, just, they just let that Baptiste live. Oh, I mean, this is how it goes. But they got what they want. They ended the fight quick. They're building a bolt. I mean, what we got? Six, forty percent to shatter, less than thirty to wall. Big pick on Explorer. That's a lot of the damage gonna be gone. Yep. But who's getting the pick on a Ninja D? Well, you are looking a little bit out of place right now. Yeah. They're getting the picks. They're, yeah, oh, they're this might be. No, they oh, that's a pick shatter. They clean it up. Yep. As soon as you lose Explorer, you lose a big chunk of damage. They did rotate through Hotel in that situation, but they, the rest of the team was able to okay. read it really well. They're switching to the Zarya Ryan uh, mirror match. At this point, it's almost a complete mirror match, actually, for each team, only difference being the second DPS. Alright. Let's see how Marietta adapts to this approach. They're gonna move it up through. Tinkyu's coming up soon on his, uh. On his fire, yep. on his shatter. They're coming up through the feeder here, going through the back alley. Oh! Go. They almost baited it, mate. Oh! Who got separated? Was that the Zarya? Yeah. Yep, that was Charge probably get picked off. Charge come in. Yeah, Kinkyu's gonna. Ooh, maybe not. That Immortality Tone did save him. Was enough, though, to completely save him. And your boyfriend almost does another shatter. Let me get in this little area right here. Yep, this is shatter. Yep. There's clean stuff coming from trying. They understand the choke points that they really want to control, how to isolate their targets, and really just punish their positioning. I think this fight, whoever gets the bigger shatter first, is probably going to win this next fight more than likely. Minute 45 on the clock. They're going to have two more fights left to really get this going their way. And Train basically has all their ult, and Storm will have his wall in no time. Yep. Move over to this uh, Moira, so they want to play faster. Oh, yeah. Oh! Big Shatter from your boyfriend. Yeah, that was... Shatter, Grab, and Deadeye. Invested into that fight. Kind of expensive fight, but yeah. they're coming up close to the end. So they have a few more in their back pocket. They still have that Blizzard. They still have the beat. So they still definitely have a lot of resources on their side. And they, they'll have the wall in probably about another 15 seconds. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not too... Surprised yeah, about that we one. We also have their own. So you're definitely going to see the beat being saved for their own Blizzard. They're not going to build the grab fast enough for the rest of the game. So, it's just a waiting yep. game. And then there comes the Blizzard from Ninja D. Really just freezing up the targets that they need to get them. Yeah, there's, there's the Window wall. comes out. So, yeah, this is the nail in the coffin. There is. Just like that, you're also coming up halfway to another yep. shatter. And unfortunately... Half. And they you invested everything there. They have no ults coming in. 30 seconds on the clock. They might be able to build a coalescence in this time, but it's very unlikely. That we'll have to see. It's the fastest building ultimate that they have available right now. 80% there. They have to get there in time. No. Big shatter coming up from the board. Right? That's it. That's. Yeah. Amazing stuff coming up from trying Wait, to snap. What was your boyfriend's shatter rate before he got the shatter? What was the percentage at? I mean, he must have been just hitting the big fire strikes. I guess. When you put this guy on right, he's just unstoppable. Just like that full hold on Marietta. <laughs> you gotta love when the two Ryan smack each other. That's hilarious. So right now, all Ryan has to do is basically just bully past that first choke and just take the point. It's just, they gotta take their time, get pick by pick. Every death that they get is one step closer to really getting victory. As long as they can find the first couple picks, that's the entire fight going their way. What they'll probably do is they'll probably get the first few picks, push them off, hunt down yeah. the rest, and then just take it. Because once you once you lose a couple, you really have to give up space, depending on who you lose. If you lose a tank and a support, yeah, that's that, bad. That match, that match is over. So we're going to see an impeccable defense coming up from Marietta. Um, we're going to see the hog pull pork. Oh, right. here we go. Oh, they're going to... Oh, no. Double flex support, May McCree, and the Hog, and the Orissa. So, very different composition coming we, out. We know what Trine's about to do. They're about to do the Sinatra teleport on top of the uh, statue, statue for the Bastion. They might do that. <laughs> oh, no. But, no. Oh, oh never mind. They've... Like, Trine takes her stuff very seriously. You don't see them all go from around very much. Um, and still, plenty of time. You don't want to call anything before they walk yeah, out fair. that door. Um, we're still on high ground that's not bad. They're trying, they're trying to hold really close to that point. 
I mean, they, they have to. They can't give up any percentage. They have I'm one. I'm curious about Sega. When was the last time we've seen Sega on, on uh... Sombra? Yeah, I don't Sombra. think we've ever seen him on Sombra. Let's see how he does. They have to build one EMP. One, one oh, EMP. Oh, that's EMP. unfortunate. I mean, they're just trying to find hack. I find hack. Really hack. Hey. They get the pick on the Arisa and just like that. They keep oh. losing it there. Yep. Yeah, yep. that's it. This map's over. Yeah, when, once Hog gets hacked, that's a pretty easy kill. Well, they, yeah. Hog's still alive. Not, not anymore. Yep, just like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, 2-0 to Train University. They're on match point here. We're gonna see what map we go to next. It's gonna be Marietta's map pick yet again. So they're gonna really have to think about where they want to take them. They really want to try to avoid maps where this rush works. Because when you get your boyfriend on the Reinhardt, yeah, you get your boyfriend on the Lucio, the Baptiste, it's you nasty. It the way. It's just something you can't ignore. Yeah, so what? So we saw what we did. Attack, hybrid, and 2 CP next? Yep, it should be it should be going to Assault next. Assault. So that gets what? Junker Town, Rialto, 76, Havana. That's the Scorp, my guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ignore that. If you are Marietta here, you might see Anubis to where you can really favor those poke compositions with. Okay, we're going to the Dorado. So I, you were right. We are going to an escort map next. So Dorado, definitely favoring those poke compositions. You're going to see the Echo in a Soldier 76 most likely. You might even see the Arisa, like Arisa Diva or Arisa Sigma. You definitely want to keep the distance between you and trying. Yeah. But we'll see what side they start in. It looks like they're going to be starting on offense again. Yeah, I, I think the two best maps to especially do with your boyfriend would be either Dorado or Havana with those long sight lines. That's just or poke 66, that shield down. Six point A and point B are definitely in favor of poke compositions. Yeah, that that is true. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what uh, Marietta's going to run here. Maybe even see a Farah? Yep, there's, there's the Echo. And then yep, we have the Soldier 76. We have the Rhine Diva coming out. But this is on the attack side. We see the double shield, so they want to definitely understand <laughs> the poke compositions coming up from trying to receive themselves. They understand that that high ground with poke is just very deadly. Yeah, especially with, with Ninja, with, with, with the, uh, Storm Arrows, that will burn down Rhine Shield pretty quick if the Diva doesn't matrix that. Plus the uh, full damage, the primary fire, helix rocket, that just kills shield. Oh, so yeah. Fast. Oh, we got your girlfriend on, uh, on Mercy. Mercy. Yep, you gotta buff up the soldier here, or the, even the. Both both TPS yeah. are good targets for the damage boost. Yeah. We're gonna see how Marietta really takes this approach. They're definitely focusing on card pressure here, but hopefully they don't lose anybody in the process. They want to try to get under this passageway so that they have to. They're, they're in danger. They were in danger of losing the Gear Wolf and Explorer here. Explorer yeah, they're going down this Pego. Yeah, I think right now just Echo might not be the the play to go against a Soldier and a Hanzo, but Marietta managing to push past this first one, they can try and come to them now. Yep, now that they're in the, re in the range. Oh, that was unfortunate. Your girlfriend getting the pick must have whipped out the quick pistol. Your girlfriend went fine, I'll do it myself. Yeah. Can you tell you, all things to them, yeah, I pushed that pretty far. Yep, but they have control of this area now. Now they don't have man, pressure on their side anymore. Yes, they now. Come through these chokes with the poke. Alright, you see about five bolts coming online soon for Trine University. Not much coming up. You see the Nano, you see the attack Visors well coming up soon. You have Valkyrie. You have Valkyrie, Visor, Graviton, Flux, Wall coming up soon, Dragon. There's the Wall. That was... That was quite a few ults invested by Dragon there. 
Well, just just uh, two there. Or three. Oh, three. Ah. Yeah. Was, it, was a dragon's really necessary for that? I mean, it's something that you can. You're not gonna miss, really. You're gonna build a quick, you're not really gonna miss it much. That's they fair. still have their Valkyrie, they still have the Flux. Flux is gonna be your big ult here for this next fight. Definitely. Because yeah. that, that Flux will. Basically, if the Lucio has the beat, it will force the beat out of them, or more than likely kill multiple people. They're coming close to the supercharge as well, so. Because yeah, we, we've seen Vulcan time and time again on off tank. He's an absolute monster. They rotate down below to see if they read but the they got But they got seen by the Hanzo, though. Ooh, that's a big pick. Nano fire on strike his, on an HD. His flux. That's just two picks coming up for the And Dalton. Ninja getting rezzed by your girlfriend. Big picks coming out, following up the gravitic flux damage. Everybody critical health. Yeah. And that's a pretty big, easy cleanup for trying. Yeah. Minute and ten on the clock. Not gonna have much time. You're gonna have time for one good attack. But this is their old fight. Switch over to the Baptiste. A little more damage on the shields here. If you were to get a pick off on your girlfriend and Swan, this might that might be enough to turn it. Even the pick on one support, you lose a lot of healing, a lot of damage coming out from both supports. Supercharger coming out from your boy. Yep. 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 Keep coming up from the Lucio. Yep. Keep coming up from the enemy Lucio here. They have a bomb. They. They might throw a bomb here. Yep. Or they're gonna drop it now. No. They just save it. That's another fire str uh, dragon strike yep. coming out window as well. No pigs fighting. Oh, they went to McCree, uh, McCree soldier now. Yep. Explorer not fighting much on the Echo, so he had to switch up. Now, I just noticed they just switched to McCree. That was a while ago. I feel kind of bad you're just noticing that. They're pushing up to the Reaper right now. They're running a really quick front line pressure. DP going out. Not fighting me. Really just like that, it's two picks. Overtime triggered. Yep. Your boyfriend almost died to the, that bomb there. Yep, but it just would have been one pick. Still contesting, but it's not looking like it's going to get much further. Yeah. Really good stuff from Trine University. This is going to be a quick series today. Yep. And Trine doesn't have much to do to be able to push that card and win. Score. Mm -hmm. Zero. Zero. We're more than likely probably still going to see the double shield comp and poke composition. Let's go ahead and let's just see how far Trine has to push. They just have to basically watch right about the fountain. Yep, yeah, gonna be right about here. <laughs> yeah, right, basically right at the fountain. Mm -hmm. All right. See the double shield. You see the soldier and echo coming out again. They love the soldier echo composition. I, it's not a bad comp. They just it's not it's this is it comes down to the mechanical skill of gear wolf and explore in this situation is this a dive comp coming out of trying we might because what what, what other choice do you have you can either mirror the double shield or you play the dive because rush is not going to work on this map that's, that's fair. fair but if you get a big nade from soren follow up with your boyfriend in the bubble it's a lot of damage and stego also getting the it's really interesting. Again, rockets. We're, we're seeing we're seeing picks from Stego that we haven't really seen a lot of. Yep, he's really flexing around because usually we see him going out on the hits cam. We've seen a lot of projectile coming up from him today. Understanding what side lines he gets control here. I mean, when you're not really worried, like at the end of the day, it's not a bad composition, but it comes yeah. down to mechanical skill, and you're honestly, unfortunately, you're not really seeing that mechanical yep. skill. Yep, there goes out. your boyfriend, Paul. Two tanks down on, on either side, so this we can kind of go either way Bonds, right now. Bonds are advantage of trying. But... Never mind, both tanks get rest. Uh, you got killed. That's Ninja, Ninja's charged up. He's gonna get this pick on here. Yeah. Kinku have to walk back. This is gonna I be. I thought he got rest. Here. Nope, that was it was your only your boyfriend. Rez must have gotten canceled. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
Explorer actually saying Goliath pretty long at that point. Looks like that's one pick after another. They're just pushing this card forward and there's not much they can yeah, do to stop. Stego's probably going to try to ult early right here. Yeah, they're going to have uh, yeah, sure here. fireworks for the end of the yeah. show. Just like that, it's a clean 3 0 for trying University. I mean, I didn't didn't really expect much out of that. Quick games, good stuff from everyone. So that will leave the score for trying six to two. Yep, they're gonna keep pushing forward, looking to not stop here on their endless crusade. But that's gonna be it for us today. Thank you all so much for coming out. I'm yet again your host, Chandler Hutton. This is Austin Armstrong, and we'll see you guys for week nine.